The Chinese president held in-depth talks with his Moldavian counterpart, following which the two countries signed 20 key agreements, including one on tourism cooperation, and announced the elevation of their bilateral ties to a comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership. The UK government has announced that it will deploy warships to the Indian Ocean region later this year, to operate and train with Indian Navy. Kali Army Group is developing a new howitzer that will have 100 km range, which is significantly higher as compared to 48 km at AGS. Kali Army Group is also developing an ammunition that will have a range of 100 km. Once the contract for three enhanced Calvary submarines is concluded, Mazagin dock ship builders anticipates that submarine production will start within the next 18 to 24 months, and the first submarine will roll out from dry docks to external docks in less than five years. Bharat Forge has announced ambitious plans to develop short and medium altitude unmanned aerial vehicles for the Indian military. The first batch of 18 Arjun Mark 1A tanks will roll off the production line at the Chennai-based Heavy Vehicles Factory in September 2024, and all 118 tanks will be delivered by 2027. General Electric has confirmed a slight delay in the supply of F-404 engines for India's Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, due to supply chain challenges faced during production restart after 18 months, and India will receive its long-awaited delivery of F-404 engines later this year. With India planning to order 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, General Electric has ramped up the production targeting 20 engines per year, and is preparing to further escalate production beyond 20 engines per year by 2026. India is all set to order 91 Israeli Heron Mark II drones that will be made in India, and serious efforts are being made to conclude the deal before 2024 general elections. Under the 30,000 crore rupees deal, the army will receive 27 units, air force will receive 42 units, and the navy will receive 22 units. The Heron Mark II male UAV has an endurance of 45 hours, and can fly at 35,000 feet, and can carry 500 kilograms of payload. Indian Army's Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers have fused the hull of T-72 tank with the turret of T-90, creating a new hybrid tank known as Athava. It weighs 45.8 tons, powered by 1,000 horsepower engine, it has been equipped with cannon-fired ATGMs, and has also been reinforced with an explosive reactive armor that was developed for the Arjun tank. It is scheduled to be rolled out within the next few months and is expected to undergo desert trials for the first time this summer. Indian Navy chief has said, that the induction of the Drishti 10 male class UAVs will happen in Porbandar Gujarat next month, after the training of the personnel gets over by mid-January. Adani Defence claims that the indigenous content in the four drones ordered by the Navy and Army stands at 70%, and the company plans to scale it up, as a larger order is expected. It has an endurance of 30 hours in a single sortie, and has a payload carrying capacity of 450 kilograms, and a maximum ceiling of 30,000 feet. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>